Blippi the Musical is coming to Rochester with a performance next Thursday at the Kodak Center. We are joined this morning by producer Josh Blackburn. Josh, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So I have to tell you, my partner is a dead ringer for Blippi and has actually <laughs> dressed up as Blippi for our nieces and nephews. So if you ever need a backup Blippi, I have a source for you. That's amazing. <laughs> Can they sing and dance? Uh, th that we'd have to work on. <laughs> <laughs> um, this Kids love Blippi. Uh, talk about how this YouTube sensation has really just taken off across the country with this character. Yeah, Blippi has just sort of taken the world by storm. He, they started the show uh, pretty simply on YouTube, and kids just really connect with the way that Blippi interacts with his world. And it's sort of a, a fun way for kids to experience the real world um, because Blippi doesn't live in a magical fantasy universe on the YouTube channel. He just sort of interacts with everyday objects and, and, and learns as he goes and teaches the kids through them. And so the kids really interact with it well. And we, and we took some of those amazing songs that parents and kids know from the Blippi YouTube channel. And then we also created a few original songs and put them all together into Blippi the Musical. And kids really love it. They really love getting up out of their seats and dancing and singing along and and doing the crazy hand motions with Blippi and the team. And Blippi really is uh, educational too, as you kind of mentioned there. Uh, Blippi is learning and the kids are learning along with him. How important is that aspect of it to kind of bring the education into this for kids? Oh, it's really important. And the education isn't just like singing your ABCs. It's, you know, we sing about animals under the ocean and different kinds of fish and animals and plants that you see under the ocean and different kinds of dinosaurs. And it's a fun, interactive education. So kids are learning, but they don't even realize they're really learning. Uh, talk about the experience in the audience for both children and adults alike when it comes to experiencing a live performance like this with Blippi. Yeah, this is kids' first introduction to the theater in a lot of cases, but this is not your traditional sit and listen theater. We ask you right from the very get-go to get up out of your seats and, and stretch and dance and sing along with us. There's usually kids and parents working together to do the dance moves and, and to learn the songs and to bring your arm up like the boom in the bucket of an excavator and dig in the dirt. So it's just a constantly interactive experience for the parents and kids alike. And you mentioned it's some of the songs that are from uh, YouTube that the kids may be familiar with and some new songs that have been uh, introduced for this musical. All of that music is streaming ahead of time too. So if kids and families wanna, wanna listen ahead of the musical, they could do that, right? Yeah, uh, you can find the full cast album uh, anywhere streaming music is, is served. Uh, you can also actually see a version of the live musical that has been filmed um, on YouTube and Netflix if you want to know what you're getting into before you get to the theater. Yeah, that may not be a bad idea for parents who are headed in and may not know everything they're they're uh, getting into with Blippi. Um, talk about the reception you get from kids in the audience. Uh, it must be such a thrill for them when they see Blippi in person. Uh, the, there's nothing like kids theater uh, in general, but that first time, whenever Blippi breaks through the curtain and comes out onto stage, it's it's a genuine roar from the audience. It's just as big as any rock star that you can imagine, and it's it's really awesome. And we added in the Excavator song to this year's tour, and the Excavator song is essentially Blippi's number one pop hit. Uh, and the roar that we get from that song and the amount of people that know every single word uh, it's towards the end of the show, but it's an amazing moment that sort of is reminiscent of uh, the Rolling Stones encore or something. It's <laughs> just a huge reaction from, from kids all across the country. Uh, I'm curious, as a producer, what's your favorite part uh, about this? Oh, man. I think it's it's really just bringing this this character to life and a character that the kids normally only act with interact with on their screen and so just to see it jump off of the screen onto the live stage and then we also have the meet and greet photo experience where kids actually get to sit in the bucket of the excavator and talk to blippy and get a picture with blippy those are some really magical moments uh, for kids and 
and parents. Yeah, it sounds like a great show. The show coming up uh, Thursday, March 10th, 6 o'clock, Blippi the Musical uh, at the Kodak Center. Uh, good to have you with us this morning. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, have fun with the show here in Rochester. Thank you very much. Great to see you.